Hello, YouTube fans. I was, I'm just talking to a friend on the phone, so it's okay. Anyway, you see this this ball here? You couldn't guess what it is. It's a Fushigi. Well, the thing about this ball here is that it doesn't levitate. It doesn't even float. All it is is a big wad of glass with something inside it that can poison you and kill you. Just look. Does this look anything like on the display? All of this is glow in the dark. I'm not even sure if I can make it glow. Um, hold on. If it, if it wasn't light out, you'd be able to see it glow. But the stuff inside it is like the stuff inside it is matter that can make it glow. You know that stuff like what you put in glow sticks that can kill you if you drink it or something like that. Yeah, this is what's in it. It looks like there's nothing in it. It just looks like it, there's more glass. Like they say it's magnets. No, it's not. This is not magnets. This isn't even a magnet. This is just a big wad of glass. Like, hold on, let me try to turn it, and I'll try to hold it out there and see if it will work. Um, this is... Okay, reposition the camera. Okay. Okay. The Fushigi ball, as you can see here, not glowing, is it? No, it's not. Anyway, this does glow. Today, one of my teachers, Miss Drucker, she um, took the ball from me, and she went like, whoa! And she grabbed it from me, and she literally just went into the darkest room she could find and look at it. Only one minute before I had a chance to go and get to my other classes. Like, I told her that I really needed to go, and she went like, just give me a minute. A teacher said that to me. A teacher! Come on! And there's a guy, um, I can only tell his last name because, um, well, no, not his last name, his first name because of personal reasons. Even though I hate him, his name is Trey. Yeah, Trey, if you're listening, I hope you hear this. Because, mm. Anyway, the Fushigi, as shown, Trey dropped it, saying that he can do cool tricks. At first it was kind of cool, and then he dropped the ball and chipped a little bit of it. So it's amazing. He's, he's been, like, Tyler, another kid, he knows who he is. If he knows me, he will know what I'm saying about. He said that he dropped this off a two-story building, and it was still as it is. No. That's a big lie. It was shattered, and the poison stuff would run down, and what if a little bunny was crossing the road and got thirsty and drank it and died? That little bunny has feelings, okay? That little boy could have had a lot of cool things in his life. And it's all because you used a Fushigi. This thing is a ripoff. And not only a ripoff, it's poisonous. It will kill you. You think it's funny to just open it up with a big old hammer. Oh, I'm just going to get this Fushigi. <laughs> and just hit it. And out comes the liquid. But not only, like, let's say you threw it at somebody. All it is, is probably a centimeter thick of glass around in a ball. Do you know how much that would hurt to be hit with one of these? The person would probably be knocked out unconscious, unconscious, so you would have to wake them up and you have to explain, Oh, I threw a machine at you! They're probably just going to grab the ball and literally throw it out the window. Even if it's, even if the window's shut, they're probably just gonna break it and throw it out the window. And say, there's your Fushigi, go and grab it! You can jump out the window and get it! Good luck getting it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I already wasted four, 14 minutes. I shouldn't go on about this weird ball thingy. But all I can tell you. If you want to be knocked unconscious, if if you don't want to save poor animals' lives, if you want to hit your brothers and sisters with this ball just to get payback, then buy the Fushigi. Goodbye.